believe I am an open mic across America. I think my former husband should be very scared. This will rival Katy Perry and Lady Gaga's. They're going to kiss too? <laughs> Lady <laughs> Lady no. Perry? Yeah, they took my shirt at security. They said it wasn't allowed for this interview. So. Exactly. It's, it's going cool to bed with, with Terry Ivins. Like there are no clothing allowed. That's nice. All right. Okay, bye. I, I've got something for you guys at home. A little uh, jingly jing jing. I spy. I've been uh, shooting behind scenes on my shows that I've been doing because I have so many shows. <laughs> no, but I've been uh, Tainted Dreams and The Bay. And uh, here's a little surprise. I spy, I spy, I spy, I spy, I spy. Yeah, we have to wear ourselves, especially the women. You know. Uh. I'm, I'm pretty good. I get to eat lunch every day. Wait, oh my god. Really? <gasps> oh my god! Ah! Uh, something... Step off, step off, step off. Uh, you need to lose it, what, at least 20 pounds. I know how to take direction. Wow, these are good. Pretzel crisp. You guys gotta run out to the store and get some. Uh huh. This is our premiere. I'm just absolutely stoked. Welcome to my pita terre. And uh, tonight we have the most amazing guest, Deborah Wilson, with us. I'll get Eli. He's my boss. Sign me stating that if you're injured on the job, it's not our fault. How would we injure ourselves in an office? Let me give you a for instance. Some girl, let's say her name is Sarah, is walking through the office with her number two pencil facing upways. Well, she trips over her shoes and falls, and that number two pencil goes right through her eyeball and into her brain. And now she's got to eat applesauce through a straw the rest of her life. See, that's not our fault. That's her fault. As per the judge's decision in Sarah Drake versus Westship Insurance sign knows I'll get Eli. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't get your name. That's because I didn't give it to you. Funny, funny. I love it. Was that fun working it on was. Two Broke Girls? That, it was. Those girls are funny, funny. They really are. They're great actresses on top of that, and both of them had the flu. Oh. You know, the episode was about them being temps because the office that they went to temp in, everyone had the flu, and they both had the flu. And during rehearsals, <laughs> when there were breaks, they would go and vomit, they would get sick, and they would come back, and they would get to work. They're professionals and they were they were great. I was very, 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 very impressed with the set, everybody. Yeah, and they both you, were really you, sick, really sick. People don't know that at home, like actors, it's really sad for us. We have to work even when we have temperatures and flus and earaches. Have you ever been sick? And no. To, never. Mm -mm. Wow, that's great. Believe How about Lotto? Not. I heard that Lotto's being released in December. That's your new movie, right? Um. That was shot quite a while ago. That's when I had hair. I didn't know that it was coming out in December. Yeah. I had no idea. What about uh, Jungle Shuffle with Rob Schneider? That's that's actually it's a children's, it's a children's animated feature, um, and I just did some ADR work on it today. It should be released in 2014, but it's an animated feature called Jungle Shuffle. Yeah, and I play a Black Panther. And then I heard that you just started filming with one of my besties. Muldoon? Yes, with Patrick Mulswoon. <laughs> As I like to call him, Patrick Mulswoon. Um, I've wrapped on the picture. It's got a couple more days left, um, and it's, um, it's a crime drama, and believe it or not, it's not comedy for me. It's all straight drama. I play a detective, and it's called uh, Proof of Innocence. And uh, they're still working on it, but I rapped already as the detective. Yeah, it was fun. That's awesome. Yeah, Patrick's awesome. I have a secret crush. Don't tell him. Because he's, like, nice to me. And if he finds out, like, I have a crush, and he'll start acting weird. So I hear that you do amazing uh, work with the young storytellers. I've been with that foundation for um, about 12 years. So for those that don't know, because it's really Southern California-based, but it is something that you could take wherever you are in your school districts. Um, the foundation is actually moving state to state, but it was started here in Los Angeles, and it's an after-school program 
that uh, pairs mentors in the entertainment industry who are screenwriters with um, various um, elementary school age students to write screenplays. Basically, it ups their it ups their self esteem. It ups their creativity. I, I kind of invented this game <laughs> called Twenty Two Second Fling. <laughs> Oh. I'm not wearing a bra, so when you want to get started. <laughs> okay. you ready? 22 second fling. Okay. Oh. Tell me, are we ready? Go. Okay. Are you a night owl? Yes. Are you afraid of the dark? No. Do you believe in the paranormal? Yes. Have you seen a ghost? Yes. Do you uh, believe in extraterrestrial life forms? Yes. Would you space travel? Yes. Or have you ever had an out of body experience? Yes. Are you rebellious? Yes. Are you a risk taker? Yes. Do you like a challenge? Yes. Ah! Ooh. Perfect. 22 second fling. All right, I got to jump in here. Deborah, since you like a challenge, I'm going to challenge you to interview Terry in your best Oprah Winfrey voice. Because she's, <laughs> she's always wanted uh -huh. to be on Oprah, and I haven't been able to do it just yet. So. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I, I'm, first of all, it is amazing, amazing to be here in Los Angeles, California, now that I've bought it. This woman is just a genius. She's beautiful, she's talented, she's smart. And, and quite frankly, the reason I bought Los Angeles is because there's more recognition that this woman deserves. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and my greatest privilege to introduce to you an amazing actress and human being, Ms. Terry Ivins. Oh, God, that's yes. so pretty, Oprah, that I love you. Awesome. Oprah, I love you. Terry, I love you more. I love you. I'm, I love you more than Robin and Stedman put together. But not it. more than a ham sandwich. Never more than ham. How is it that you maintain such an amazing shape? I eat bacon. A ham girl. What's your latest project? I, I hear you're doing a radio show. Tell me all about that. Oh, it's called Going to Bed with Terry Ivins, where everyone goes to bed with Terry Ivins. Really? And, and tell me some of the guests that you will be having on in the future. Riley? My name should have come up first. <laughs> well, my, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to stop you. My name should have come up first, Katie. <gasps> Oprah, you Oprah, no, 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 that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You can diss me. Go right ahead. <laughs> no. You, oh. I put you in the same category as the crazy Ray Donchon. You dissed the Oprah. That's what you no, get. No, I didn't think that that's you were trying to... You dissed the Oprah. Uh-oh. You gonna dissed the Oprah. Mm. Oh. We're going to blow up now. <laughs> but that's okay. You are forgiven because on Super Soul Sunday, on my show, on my network, with my magazine... We love and forgive everybody. You are loved and you are forgiven. Please join me on, on Super Soul Sunday, will you? I will. Okay, and will you you bring some ham? You'll bring me some ham? Absolutely. Okay. Big, okay. thick, okay. juicy But, but tell me how, how this project, this radio project, came to be. Well, I was on this... Uh Soap opera. Very good. Back to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, we gotta go. It's over. We're done. Oh. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in, and we'll be right here thank next you, Wednesday. Thank you, and thank you, thank you, and thank you, Aww. Riley, for bringing me on and yeah. finding me, thank and, you. and and give me this opportunity to hang out and get in bed with uh, with Terry. all of us. Really, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see who you bring on next. I think, I think it's gonna be your boy, Patrick Muldoon. Oh, Patrick Muldoon. <laughs>